Hi everyone, well we're quite late today, um, it's around 7 o'clock, just 5 past 7 on a sunny evening, 23rd of June 2024 and uh, I've tried to hold down my mobile phone holder with some gaffer tape, duct tape some people call it, gaffer tape I'll call it, and uh, it didn't work so um, I have to think of something else. So hopefully it won't fall off uh, like it did the other week and uh, won't give me a shock. Um, it's been a busy day in many ways. It's a tiring day I had just at a family gathering. So it was very nice to uh, catch up with a lot of people you haven't seen in a few years. Um, last week we had a bit of trouble trying to play a Woodmill in Old Amsterdam this June, which I'm mistakenly said was Max Bygraves, which is, which is definitely Ronnie Hilton on the cover. Um, we tried it as a Viennese water, which is more or less correct, but the problem there is that I tried to play it much too fast, very much too fast, and I, I couldn't keep up with it. It, it was just too much. Let me just check this out. Well, that was the tempo. Um, I've since had another go at it. Um, and it's, one of the problems with this tune is there is a different chord for every first beat of the bar for a lot of the, the tune itself. For example, we've got that kind of sequence, and being three beats in the bar, waltz tempo, it comes to you quite quickly. Um, and if you've not practiced something, it really is quite difficult for your mind to get round. Anyway. Let's just give this another go, but this time what we'll do is, let me just do another little check. Right, so what we're going to do is we've, we've got to turn this down a bit so it's not quite so fast um, and I'm forgiving. So let's see how we do with it now.
have it. A windmill in old Amsterdam. Uh, still a little bit difficult in places, but uh, we have to do the coda, that's the ending, uh, right down to a slower speed. So you have to try and adjust that. That is a windmill in old Amsterdam done it last. Um, so continuing with these A's, I've got A Woman in Love. Uh, I've got a turnover page on here, that's going to prove difficult. Um, it came from the film Guys and Dolls, that's the front cover, and I know it's always upside down for you, but I can't help it because that's doing it and playing it up with a selfie. People still keep coming on YouTube and telling me about it, but I don't mind. And by the way, if you can go on YouTube and do a like, a share, a subscribe, even better, then that's all quite nice and helpful. Uh, I'd love to be able to uh, keep going with the subscribes and go up and up and up. At the moment, it's on 148 the last time I checked. A woman in love. Um, Usually done with a Latin sort of begin tempo or rumba. Um, we'll have a check, see what I've got on my keyboard here. That will do the trick. Um, how about this one? Um, maybe?
woman in love from the film Guys and Dolls. And uh, that was... I didn't turn the page over by the way. I uh, made it that page by ear. Um, goodness of gracious me, I've got to see if I can find this. Um, I think it says 1955. Um, I'm going to make an appointment with the opticians to see whether some glasses will help my vision. Um, I'm, I am due to check up at the hospital as well at some time or other. Hopefully it will get sorted one day. But uh, who knows. So we're a little bit out of focus. Here we have probably, well this is the last tune. No it isn't. Uh, I've still got something else to play. Um, no, this is the last, I think this is the last tune I have in the letter A. So um, I think I'll be starting on the letter B next week. But here we've got A, you're adorable. Uh, <laughs> and uh, as soon as I think of that and say that, I think of Morecambe and Wise, who, for anyone who's not, familiar with Morecambe and Wise and uh, um, don't know much about them well you can google them <laughs> but um, they were a famous comedian pair um, who made us all laugh an awful lot on British television for many years this recording here um, is by Tito Burns and his music with Terry Devon singing and Tito Burns was quite well known in his day, um, but then became a, um, what can I say, a, um, an agent. Um, and uh, I don't know if he's still around, he probably isn't now, nowadays, but Tito Burns, Tito Burns did become a, an agency uh, for the entertainment profession. Again, I can't really see this. It's more or less in my head. It's in the key of C. It was written in... Wow, I've got some... <laughs> I've got some Roman numerals to sort out here. Um, L, 55, 6, 7... Looks like 1958. We've got M, C, M, X, L, V, I, I, I. So I worked that out as 1958. Um, Welcome and Wise used to do this as, as a really funny piece. Um, a, you're adorable. B, you're so beautiful. I think mostly know the routine that they used to do. Um, whether I'm going to get through this or not is another matter, but we will try, because as you know, this is all totally unrehearsed. Um, so, you never know what's going to happen with me when I do these little sessions. Um, just make sure that's going all right. I can't read the music at all, but never mind. I'm going to sit back a little more comfortably and see whether we can get my fingers, because this is quite tricky to do with your fingers.
Hey, you're adorable. The Alphabet Song. Uh, written by Buddy Kay, Fred Wise and Sidney Lippman. I was thinking Buddy Kay may have been a comedian, but I'm not quite sure about that. Um, how are we doing? Uh, so look, yes, we're okay, not too bad for time. As I say, next week we start on the B's and see how we go with that. Um, I'll tell you something that came into my head uh, um, earlier today. I made a note of it here. Simple Simon Says. Uh, it came out in 1967-68. I think the 1910 fruit gum machine made it quite popular in the chart. Um, I believe lots of the youngsters used to dance it in the, uh, in the, in the halls, dance halls. Nightclubs, I don't know what you used to call them in those days, Palais de Dance. And uh, which I think I've got a little way of playing this. If I do 60s guitar pop, I think it might work out quite well. Let's see how, what happens. Oh, that's not quite right because I forgot to. Turn off my freeze button to do that again. Let's see what happens now. Right, has that fixed it or not? That's not. Hold on again. Sounds have got stuck. I'm not sure why, but they have. Um, let me just see what's gone wrong with my keyboard here. It seems to have it's changed the backing, but not the and not not the sound of my registers, which it should have done. Not quite sure why that's happened. Ah, right. I tell you what, folks, it was the OTS link. Got it. There's another little button over here. OTS link, it's called. That's what's happened. Uh, okay. Press that one again there. Press that one there. And make sure that's not on. And try again. That's a little better than it was. Right, here we go. Si Simon says, or simple Simon says. We'll get these buttons right. Now I've forgotten where it goes. Um,
Simple Simon Says. Sometimes it's called Simple Simon. Um, or Simon Says. Uh, don't know how we're doing for time. Let's see if we can just do one little quickie before we go. Um, yeah, I must remember to uh, clear one or two of the settings I've got on here and maybe do a fresh floppy disk or something. Um, called be a clown which uh, <laughs> uh, might refer to me really uh, written by Cole Porter and uh, it was in 1946-48 two dates on here um, unpublished in 1946 it says on here and then it was taken up by another publisher in 1948 and it's been sung a few times by a few people came from an album of Cole Porter tunes, which I love this, this series of um, albums that came out way, way back uh, in those days. 
called uh, Club Series, and this was Club Series number um, 11, and it says Cole Porter, 51 Standards, New Style Orchestrations, and it's really absolutely splendid album, and a splendid series of books when it was coming out in, in those days. Don't know whether they're still around, mine's a bit tatty now, and I've got a whole load of them from one to about 18 I think they are and absolutely stacked full of wonderful songs um, not enough days and not enough hours to get through them all but that's the way life is so um, I've still got a copy of low pops and roses stuck up here don't know why um, still haven't got the um, tune that goes with the chords for Just Friends, written in the key of um, F, if anyone's got it. Um, I'd love to learn the actual melody line, but I've only got the chord sequence of Just Friends, and uh, I don't know quite how it goes. Um, I'd love to be able to do it one day, um, but... Uh, uh, Yeah, I'd, I'd like to be able to do it, but I've only got the chords and no melody line. Um, so if anyone knows how the melody line goes, I'd appreciate it. Of Just Friends, written by... Well, I can't see that. Um, oh, just about John Kalena, Sam Lewis. I think it says, but my eyesight is so bad these days. Okay, uh, everyone, um, lads and lassies and whoever else is watching, I'm going off now. Going to get a cup of tea. Um, probably got one going cold over there, but never mind. And uh, hope to see you next weekend. And hope you're all well. Bye for now.